Oh man, I've been gone for over a week. I hope we have nothing but good news. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's just get into the news and let's see what we find. Oh, 14 year old kills 13 year old. Later flexes on social media. What is wrong with people? But I found this article and it was a few days ago and obviously I couldn't upload a few days ago. I got a strike on my channel. So I'm here to talk about it. I haven't really seen anyone talk about the situation. It's it's crazy. Like it's a kid, a 14 year old guy killing a cheerleader. Later on flexing on social media. As he's arrested and is in the back of the police car, he's out here flexing on Snapchat, which who uses Snapchat in 2021? Like if you're over 20 and you're using Snapchat, you might as well call yourself mini ladder. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's just get into this, this crazy story. I wish I could tell a surprise. But at this point, I've pretty much seen it all. I've seen people do some of the weirdest, most disgusting, most inhumane things to get just a little drop. Just a tiny little drop of clout. But anyway, let's just get into it. Tristan Bailey, 13, was found dead on Monday after she was reporting missing the day before by her family. She was last seen at the Durbing Amenity Center in St. John's County in the U.S. state of Florida about 1.15 a.m. Sunday. My question is, who's out this late? Like, I'm 22 and I'm not even out of this time. Sometimes before quarantine, before the whole pandemic, was I vibing at 2 a.m. 100%? But at 13 years old, if I was a parent, I would not let my kid go out, you know, past nine. Number one, he's a kid. Number two, it's Florida. The biggest question is what the fuck was she doing at 1 15 a.m.? It just doesn't add up in my opinion her classmate Aiden Fucci which this guy this guy's the disgusting creature who killed this girl later on flexed on snapchat like this guy's a disgrace and before we even continue yes this guy's a 14 year old do I think he deserves life in jail 100% 1 billion percent re it's not like oops i killed you by accident my bad no that's not what happened here i 100 percent get being an angry 14 year old i mean when i was 14 was i angry yes was i punching walls no but i came close to it but i never thought you know what that cheerleader i'm a killer this guy was extremely fucked up to even think about this then to consider it and then to actually do it and then you know the planning that comes with it you don't wake up one day and say you know what i don't want to play yoshi's land what i want to do is just kill a classmate like no this guy most likely had issues at home with surveillance videos showing what is believed to be aiden and the young girl walking together at 1 45 a.m on sunday uh now this is a picture of the guy Am I surprised by the way he looks? No. <laughs> you don't even need to tell me what he did. I could just tell what he did. What a disgusting piece of shit. And that haircut, that haircut does no favors to anyone. In a statement released by the police earlier this week, they had confirmed Tristan has died of sharp force trauma by stabbing. You know what? As someone who has a younger sister, I would feel like shit. And the first thing that I would want to do had this been anyone related to my family or, you know, my sister or whatever. My first instinct would be to kick this person's ass before the cops get to them. Because once again, this was planned. No one wakes up and says, yes, I'm just going to murder people. I'm going to take a knife, a sharp knife, put it in my pocket and wait for the perfect time to strike. No. No normal person thinks that way. Just looking at this guy, to prevent any further strikes, I'm just not going to comment on his appearance any further, which you can make endless jokes about it, really. But, and you may think, well, it's horrible. The situation is horrible, but sensitive. He surely won't be flexing what he did in the next pictures, would he? Teens chilling selfie before body found. Before Tristan's body was discovered, police held Aiden in a car where he posted a chilling selfie on Snapchat. We have him on Snapchat right here, and his caption is, Hey guys, has anybody seen Tristan lately? Guys, I think we've reached peak comedy. And this guy's such an idiot that, you know, he could have, if he had a good lawyer, it's disgusting, but he could have possibly avoided this, maybe get less time. You know, anything's better than, you know, life in jail. This guy thought he will be such a badass, right? A badass like we've never seen before. Yeah, let me post this on Snapchat. Let me incriminate myself even further. Let me throw a peace sign like a fucking moron. Flexing about murdering someone. One. I'm not trying to sound like a boomer here, but this legitimately <laughs> only happens with fucking kids. It's crazy. Prosecutors are thinking whether or not Aiden will be charged as an adult. Let me stop you right there. 100% what he did was an adult action, right? He wants to act tough. He wants to act like an adult. Give him the adult treatment. It's that simple, really. All I know is that if this was my sister or if I was a mother and this was my daughter, you know, getting killed by this guy with this horrible haircut, I don't want to give him the electric chair. I don't care if he's 14, 15, 16. He was smart enough to come up with this, you know, schedule it, time it, prepare, think about it at night before going to bed. He wants to act like an adult treat him like a fucking adult it's that simple the sun reports that if he is he could face 
life behind bars if he's found guilty. Imagine throwing your life away like this. That kid was 14. He had his whole life ahead of him, right? It just blows my mind. Like, sometimes I'm feeling down. I'm like, man, have I really done anything with my life? Where's my life going? But now... Thanks to this guy, I'm like, you know what? Things could be way worse. I could be 14 years old, potentially spending my whole life in jail because I'm a fucking idiot. Do people not think before they act? Like, I get committing mistakes, right? Oh, you make a bad video, you make two bad videos, you have a bad take. Those are small errors, right? You're like, oh, my bad. I was stupid. I was retarded. I didn't really think of it, you know, enough. This is a mistake that doesn't happen by accident. Oh, my bad. I stabbed you multiple times at 1 a.m. and then flexed on it. Uh, an accident. It happens, right? He's not innocent. But hopefully this fucking idiot inspires other people not to commit stupid shit like this. But at the same time, when people want clout, they'll do anything to get it. Even if it means spending your life in jail for what? Two days of attention? A day where everyone talks about you? The next day everyone forgets about you? Yeah, nice job, jackass. It just sad the lengths that people go to for a bit of attention, right? And I thought my life was pathetic. But after this, I love my life. Life is good. Life has treated me fantastic so far. Anyways, guys. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy 14-year-olds are out here. Instead of playing Minecraft or Halo or Call of Duty. Fuck it. Even Plants vs. Zombies or Club Penguin. Instead of doing, you know, 14-year-old shit. We have them killing people, flexing, and owning guns. What is this universe we're living in? I don't know. Something must have happened in 2012. I think we all died and we're just in, you know, an alternative universe where everything is shitty. Everything just sucks. All right, guys. That's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for supporting me. All right, guys. Have a fantastic one. Shout out to my channel member for the continued support. All right, guys. Have a good one. See ya.